Hey guys, welcome back from Classic Work. Today I was going to show you all a little bit about how to get the most out of your hand tools. And some of the techniques I'm going to show you today, a lot of y'all are going to think, well, that's just common sense. And maybe some of the other ones that I'm going to show you be like, wow, I never thought about it like that. And there are some really cool techniques that you can do that I didn't know for a long time about a lot of this stuff. And somebody will show you on a job or you see it on the internet uh, and you're just, you know, you might be amazed by it or you may be like, well, I've done that for years. What's so, you know, cool about that? And what I'm basically trying to get at is there are a lot of really cool techniques that you learn out there through sheer necessity a lot of times that you're just trying to figure something out and it just happens to work that way. And I'm going to be showing you all some of my favorite ones that I've learned over the years. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get something out of it. So let's get after it and let's get started. This first one I'm going to show you is an old framing technique. It is how to square a corner with nothing but a tape measure. And the thing you do is, it's called the old 3, 4, and 5 square trick. What you do is, you hook on to your corner that you're wanting to square. Take your tape measure, you come out to anything that has to do with three. You can come out three inches, or you can come out three feet. And if you want it to be accurate, go longer. So we're going to go three feet, make some marks, take your square, square that line. Then you're going to hook on the other side of your corner and measure out four feet. Down here. Across it. Okay, once you've done that, you can take your tape and hook on to that four foot that you've marked out there on the end and come to your three foot that you marked. And if it's at five feet, in which case it is, it's square. And once you do that, you can take a stiff back, which is nothing but a little piece of wood. Screw it down, and now she's solid. She won't move now. And now you can do your other corners and check them for parallel and everything. And that's a quick way to check if something's square. This here's another trick that you'll see in construction a lot and uh, well maybe not a lot it's a little less common but you will see it in pipe fitting and others as well is the old square trick to check if something's parallel. Now I've got these two beams right here and they look parallel if you saw the pan that I just did on both of them and they look like they're in the same plane of each other but if you take your two framing squares and put them right here where they join. You notice that there's a crack down at the bottom. See, there, see the top halves are touching up here? There's a big crack at the bottom, meaning that this point right here needs to come up a little bit. So you can take you a shim, put it up under them. Whatever thickness you need it to be. And then come back with your squares and check it again. I went too much. How about that? There you go. How about that? That's a pretty cool trick that you can use to check to make sure things are parallel and within the same plane. It's pretty accurate too, very accurate. 
Another really cool trick that you can do, and you can do this one with a speed square, is use a speed square as a level. Uh, isn't that kind of weird using a square for a level? But uh, it can be done, and it is accurate, believe it or not. What you do is you take your speed square and you lay your, your 45 degree leg on the part that you want to check for level, and then you're going to uh, take a plumb bob, which you don't have to use a real plumb bob, pump plumb bob, you can use a washer and a piece of string, and you can take that string and put it right up through the pivot and get your plumb bob to stop swinging and look in your numbers here on your square and if it goes through the 45 which is your center point it's square I mean well it's level and the smaller the string that you have the more accurate it's going to be if you use like fishing line for instance it'd be very accurate the only problem with this method is you only have 10 inches of surface area so it doesn't it doesn't do good as a three foot level or anything but if like say Larry or Bob uh, borrowed your level you know from your job and you need to check this really quick this is one method that you can use and mother nature she never lies so it's always going to be accurate as as accurate as 10 inches but if you don't think that that's accurate think again Another trick that we do a lot in construction is straightening beams. And a lot of times what we'll do is pull a string on them. And sometimes that's a little bit more challenging than it seems. But a real easy way that we, that we do it is take your screw or a nail and you're going to put it right there in the corner of your more beam that you're trying to straighten. So just hit it as close as you can. About like so. Put your another screw at the other end, just like that one. Okay, from there you can pull your string across it. Okay, and now you can see which way you need to pull your beam in or out. As you can see, we're almost probably 3 sixteenths out up here. I should have got some better light in here. But you can see how much it's out. And that's a, just a really easy way to pull a string on a beam. This technique right here is just for laughs. Uh, if you can see, I've got a uh, little ducal stuck up on the roof. And this has happened to me before where you have a tool that you left on the roof if you were doing a roofing job and you need to get it down and say your boss doesn't take all of your ladders and you, and you can't get it down. So one thing that you can do with a tape measure, if you got a good tape measure, is you can get it. Let's see if we can get it off. Just for laughs. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope you got a few laughs and I hope you also learned something from all of this. I, it's just things that I've picked up and I just wanted to share with y'all. If there's anything that I could tell y'all, the best advice I could give is to listen to the folks that you work with and, you, and well, who you live with, pretty much. Uh, pay attention and get creative with things that you come up with because you'll amaze yourself sometimes with stuff that you see or do. So I hope you all enjoyed this once again. Please comment, subscribe to me if you like, and uh, you'll have a great day. And I 
Take care, as always, from Classic Lawyer. I'll be good.